High Hill Orchards, Wayne Young's wonderful orchards for our winter CSA. I'm here because I like winter vegetables. I think it's a, a great resource locally to support your local farms. Uh, you know, they do a great job every year. Uh, all the cold weather vegetables, carrots, potatoes, garlic, you name it. You know, once a month you get a pretty good supply. And uh, you know, can't beat supporting a local local farm. I'm Ellen Anthony and I've been going here for two years. I, my favorite part going here is picking apples and seeing the scenery of all the trees and all the bushes. Like I feel like it's a it's a prize every time I come pick up uh, my vegetables because I get like a ton of stuff that's just super delicious and it's cheaper than like buying it every week at the store and it's uh, healthier and better for the environment. property in 1946 started planting apple trees we're in the, we're in the fruit business pretty much actually I guess it goes back to uh, my great-grandfather who started in the fruit business so I guess you can say I'm fourth generation fourth generation uh, in the, either farming apples peaches or pears or some one of the above, and when I took over, I kind of diversified into vegetables and doing other things like the CSA um, and retail. I started growing garlic probably about mid '80s, early '80s, and uh, that's I guess about when we started learning how to use it <laughs> for things. It's when I was growing up, it wasn't a big item that uh, we had in the garden, so. Honey, boxes. Time to do some shopping. High Hill Orchards, Wayne Young's. Wonderful orchards for our winter CSA. Morning, Wayne, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm well. Good to see, see you. you. Happy New Year. Yeah. Hi, John. Hi, John Kirk. Hi, Kirk. It's time to stock up again for another month. Yep. I still haven't eaten my zook nut. No. Squash. Although I have a picture of my daughter Keep looking through the looking through the curl. The curl. But it's it's uh it's got a lot of comments on Facebook. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're picking up in here. Yeah. One bag of carrots. Yeah. You got one bag of potatoes. Some with the white. White or like a, a boiling? Yeah, Same it's potato? Hello, good morning. It's uh, great both ways. Bacon. So it is over here? Okay. Oh, bake too? Yeah. Okay. I prefer. It's one of the great things about uh, uh -oh. the CSA. It's, uh, you know, come home and then decide designing your menus after you know you get home because you don't know exactly what you're going to get. You can make assumptions. Wayne does a great job uh, okay. splitting them up. Okay. Garlic is great and everything. Okay. Onions. We did, um, we did onion soup over the holidays with the last bag. Um, I used uh, beef stock. I know those that are vegetarians could, could also use a vegetable stock, but I used a beef stock and it was really good. Yeah. Really hearty. Nice. Or rutabaga. One bag of apples. Two varieties. One of each? Yeah. I get extra cider. Yeah. Cider oh. freezes. Right. Here's your mom. Yeah, you just take a little bit. 
take take off about that much right off there, and then when it freezes, it has room to expand. Expand, yep. Good point. Good. Excellent. That's a good tip. Otherwise, you hate a mess in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, the best cider, I think. And will you have some in the next month, Stu? Yes. All right. Is there a difference between rutabagas and turnips? I prefer rutabagas myself. The bigger? Um, rutabagas are, are yellow flush with a purple top. Um, turnips are generally a white flush with purple tops or a uh, green uh, green top, white with a green top. And aren't they small too? Generally they are. I, I personally have um, inter used them, used them yeah. depending they're, on They're very similar in taste, but uh, I, I feel like the rutabagas are sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, the 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 like but the turnips the have that little oh, bit of a thing to them, which is, you know, is preferably to some people also. Spoken, spoken from uh, one that, that lives and grows them. Yeah. <laughs> what we do is um, for our Thanksgiving, my mom, the Irish uh, tradition, we always did carrots, mashed carrots and turnips. Really? I mean, steam them both yeah. and then mash them both with a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Yeah. And um, I don't know why we only ended up having them at, on uh, Thanksgiving, because they're so good. So now we have them with Wayne CSA. All right. So more than once a year. More than once a year, yeah. So I don't know if I get it. Are there going to be pears this month? There's uh, some. Uh, but I can buy some? Yeah. Okay. Because the pears have been my morning, my breakfast. No, since we started, they're they're they are good. They're so oh. good. The Bartlett's, Bosk, Bosk, yeah, yeah. Bartlett's are Brown. fat. Bosk's are the skinny ones. Yeah. Nice and crunchy. They're good at green oh. too. Yeah, yeah. They're they're great. I mean, the apples are always good, but the pears this year, I just I just really enjoy the pears. Yeah. What's going on with the uh, peach trees up here? Was that from the storm, <laughs> or was that from your tractor knocking? They're all pushed over. Yeah. You? Tornado, the hydraulic tornado. So Pulled them right out. So you're taking them down? Yeah. Oh my God, I had to keep them driving up the road <laughs> and I see them all lying down. <laughs> it was like the weather. Don't, yeah. don't tell me it that was from shocking, the- It does look shocking though. Everybody's been commenting, what happened? What's it, what's Sorry, I didn't get them cleaned up before the weekend. But no. They were, uh, no, they're just too old. Last peaches, year. peaches only last yeah. about 20 years. And, uh, Do you have more peaches, or is that? Yeah, I got some four or five year old trees started already somewhere else. What are you going to put over here? Uh, eventually, I'm going to have apples in there. I heard that the peach trees were down up the road. I don't know exactly where they are. Did you notice them and that they were all uprooted? Yeah, when we were driving here, I saw them uprooted, and I wondered why they were, they were like that. Okay, well, when you go inside, ask Wayne why, and he'll tell you. You know what else, too, they're good at is um, with, with some, some fresh greens and gorgonzola, a little vinaigrette, slice up the pear, make a salad. executive chef at Yale, we, um, we tried to put in the Yale Sustainable Food Project. We didn't know too many local farmers to get local food, but we had connected with this honey guy providing honey, swords into plowshares, uh, honey out of, uh, out of New Haven, and he was delivering one day and he was in a rush to get out of the kitchen. He used to bring the kitchen, and, and every other time he was there to eat, you know, he was in, never in a rush. To, to, he says, I gotta go, I gotta go. He's, I've got all these beehives on my on the truck and I've gotta get them up to this orchard. And I'm like, what do you mean you got beehives on the truck? And he says, well, I've gotta get them to the orchards to pollinate the apple trees. And I said, I don't understand. And he said, let me explain something. The orchards rely on bees to pollinate, their, you know, when they're in bloom in the spring to, 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 
to produce the apples. And he said, um, don't you know about High Hill Orchards in Meriden? And here we are in New Haven. And I said, no, I, I never, I don't know. I'm looking for so, a source for apples and pears and ciders and things like that. And he says, my God, there's this guy called Wayne Young from High Hill Orchards who uh, practices IPM, um, and, you know, in his, in his management of his crops. And I says, what is IPM? And he said, integrated pest management which is not certified organic, but in some ways better, in other ways, you know, more financially stable or whatever. So uh, this honey producer from New Haven introduced me to Wayne Young here from High Hill Orchards. This was back in the early uh, part of this dead last decade, and, uh, and the rest was history.